Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to export these out to our usable files. These DPX files, you could use these to color grade, but right now we would have to export these out to individual DPX files, which is kind of a pain. So we're going to use more of an updated format, a, a, a smoother format, or one that's, in my opinion, a lot better and uh, does uh, nearly a lossless quality transfer to ProRes uh, 4444, which is just a really nice, high quality, very, very uh, easy codec to use and very compatible by, by standards of today's uh, systems. So I'm going to go back to our list view here, and I'm going to grab the footage we're going to be exporting. I'm going to make, uh, all, I'm going to turn all these into the ProRes 4444 files. I'm going to grab all these clips here. Ignore those ones. We're not doing. This is the raw DPX file, just the, the 18 minutes of footage. Uh, now we've got these all separated down into subclips, referencing the DPX files, and we can export these all out. I'm going to hit Control M and we'll open up a window and we're going to export, uh, here's our export windows and it's going to send all these to Adobe Media Encoder. I'm going to go to format here and I'm going to change that to QuickTime. ProRes files are QuickTime made from Apple. So we're going to go down and choose a preset here and we're going to choose uh, ProRes 4444. We don't need with alpha because we're not doing, this is not, we have not done the, uh, any effect work on these things. If you want to do things like high quality graphics and, and you have an alpha channel, uh, you can use that, but we don't need it since this has, the, these these have not been um, made into effects at all. Where it requires an alpha channel. So I'm going to do ProRes 4444. And these do not have audio. Keep in mind that film cameras is very similar to like a RED camera or an Alexa camera where if you're on a big movie set, uh, the camera department does not worry about uh, audio. They just worry about, they just worry about recording um, uh, the visuals and that's it. All right, so I'm going to uncheck audio. And uh, the video is all set because the ProRes, there, there are really no settings necessarily that we have to set with ProRes. We just want to make sure that we are matching uh, our resolution. These are 4K files. In fact, let's take a look at this really quick. Look at the quality of these files. I'm going to select one. Up here, this is showing uh, 4096 by 2336. So these these are true 4K files. In fact, if we want to look at the aspect ratio as well, that these are shot in here. I'm going to bring up a calculator and we're going to say uh, 4096 divided by... 2336 and hit OK. And this is a 1.75 aspect ratio. We're probably going to widen these. Uh, we're going to end, and with that film uh, plane, this is in between. This is very close to a 16 by 9 uh, uh, image, but oftentimes with film, if they want a wider aspect ratio, they just crop off the top and the bottom. And we will cover that. We will do that when we when we move this to DaVinci Resolve because we're going to, this was framed. We were framing for 1.89 for 1.85 to 1, which is a cinema aspect ratio. This is not quite as wide as a cinema aspect ratio. This gives us a little bit of room, and the 4K quality gives us a little room to crop the top and bottom, which we did frame for while we were shooting. So we're not going to be cutting off the tops of heads or anything So when, when we're reframing. Okay, so once again, I'm going to select all these that we're going to export out to ProRes files. Hit Control-M. we got QuickTime, ProRes 4444. Turn off the audio. And we're going to keep all these things the same down here. We're going to keep the uh, the resolution exactly the same. We're going to keep the frame rate the same. We're going to keep the aspect. We're going to keep all that stuff the same here. And if you want the highest quality possible, instead of 8 bits per channel, we're going to do be doing 16 bits per channel here. We don't have to do plus alpha because, once again, this is not effect work that we're doing with these files here. So we're going to do 16 bits per channel on the depth. And these are going to be very large file files uh, with a with a lot of color information, but they're not going to be quite as large as uh, the DPX files. So now I'm going to hit Q here. Uh, that's all we need to do. Um, we're going to hit Q. It's going to send these files over to Adobe Media Encoder. Okay, they just opened up an Adobe Media Encoder. Everything's been sent over here, all the clips. I am going to change uh, the location here, so I'm going to hit Control-A to select all. And uh, now everything's selected, so I'm going to click on one of these names over here, and this will change the, the location for every one of these files. Click on the name, and uh, right now I'm just going to go to my scratch disk on this computer. Uh, I'm going to go to my taste for something, and I'm going to call these here. High quality, call these ProRes. 4444 files, so we know that these are the quali high quality files. If, in fact, if we want to use the acronym just so everything's saying here, we'll say taste for something. So we know that's the project folder. Uh, so I'm going to select that folder there, and uh, that location is now saved for all these files. And I'm going to hit play, and it does give you this little warning here rendering to 4444 should only be used if your source media is using 444 color rendition, which it is. Uh, they were uh, DPX, which is basically 444 color rendition, which is real, probably one of the higher quality files that you can actually use. So they're just telling you if your source media is 422, which is lower quality, then you're just adding on uh, unnecessary bulk uh, that doesn't need to be there, uh, that you're just making your files larger for no reason. So these are actually gonna be smaller than, uh, than the DPX files. So, so I'm gonna hit okay. 
going to let that finish. And uh, the next episode, I will, I'll start off with these files all encoded, and we're going to pour, import these into um, Premiere, and we're going to show you how to work with a, a proxy workflow, because uh, these files are still going to be very large, and they'll be very difficult to edit, unless you have a super, super fast computer. So once these, these are done, uh, we're going we're gonna to go through the proxy workflow, and we're going to use the proxy files uh, to do the actual editing with.